Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Tuesday, and man, I'm kind of bummed. So I missed my opportunity to record Warfronts over the weekend, didn't have internet access, and I sat down Tuesday morning, still feeling kind of kind of bummed out, you know, that I missed the show and decided, you know what, I'm going to make the time. I'm going to deprive myself of sleep in order to get a recording done for Warfronts. And I jumped on, got on my level 41, now level 42, uh, well, actually, he's level 14 right now because I'm in an instant adventure. Uh, jumped on my level 42 uh, bard and said, you know what? Let's do it. Let's hit the cues. Let's kick some butt. And it didn't happen. We are 78 minutes in the queue. Nada. So apparently Tuesday morning around 1030 Eastern time is uh, the worst time ever to try to get a game in the 40s bracket. Uh, so lesson learned there on that one. Uh, and here we are. I'm in an instant adventure, I don't have any idea what I'm doing, I'm just following people around, and, I don't know, shooting stuff with my guitar beam. What are we supposed to be doing in the first place? Collect stolen dissection tools in Sunken Marsh. Okay, well, let's do that. Where would one keep? If I were a bogling who was going to steal dissection tools, where would I then hide those dissection tools? Maybe in one of my weird little bogling huts. Perhaps... Yes. Dismount to the horse. So yeah, feeling kind of bummed out. And uh, I was sitting at work and thinking, because I do a lot of thinking while sitting at work. I have some downtime and, you know, just sort of think about stuff. And I started thinking about the fact that I felt bummed, you know? Oh, here are said dissection tools. That's a rather beefy-looking dissection tool. I dissect things with a cleaver. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, I was sitting there feeling bummed and started thinking. And uh, what I started thinking about was the fact that... I like the way I'm saying thinking. I'm thinking about it. What I started thinking about was uh, the last time that a game kind of had that hook into me where I actually missed it when I didn't have the opportunity to play it. Because that's a rare thing for me. I mean, I obsess about a game for a short time, and then I'm off. I, I go on to the next thing. You know, for instance, right now my secondary obsession is Faster Than Light. If you haven't played that, my god, play Faster Than Light. It is an amazing space roguelike. So, I was thinking, as, as I said I am wont to do at work, and I realized that the other time, the last time that this happened, was World of Warcraft. And then things just started to synergize in my thinking brain. And I realized that it was September 25th, the day that pandas invade Azeroth. And then I realized I didn't buy that expansion. I, I didn't even think about buying that expansion. I mean, when they announced that expansion, I wasn't super excited about it, but I just sort of assumed, yeah, this will be the thing that gets me back into World of Warcraft. I always quit a few months before the expansion, then I come back just as the expansion launches. Uh, you know, it's just going to be another one of those, so let's go ahead and get ready. And no, nothing. I, I'm not... I still have 40 bucks in my pocket, and I'm playing Rift right now. So I, I think... I think I'm... Yeah, I, th I think I'm over World of Warcraft, and it's really weird to say that, because there's no doubt that that's the game that solidified me as a player of MMORPGs. I mean, I played a lot of stuff before that. You know, I'm an older guy, so I played Ultima Online. I played freaking, I played MUDs, right? I played Legend of the Red Dragon 2 on, on the Archdale Affordable Computers BBS. Yeah, shout, shout out to the Archdale Affordable Computers BBS. Anybody? Anybody in the house? No? All right, well, yeah. So, before that, I was just kind of a casual player of MMOs, as casual as one could be at that time, because MMOs were pretty freaking hardcore. They required a ton of grinding, and it, it wasn't just something that one entered into lightly. What are you doing there, Marsh Biter? But yeah, you know, I just kind of played them. I sort of played every one that came out, and... Uh, World of Warcraft was the first one that I, I had an extended subscription to and, and actually played on, on an extended basis. And it's really weird to realize that I'm kind of done with that. I'm kind of over it. And I'm trying to figure out why. Uh, I guess I'm trying to figure out, did they, did they do something to lose me? And I, I don't think so. Uh, I really don't think so. I think it is just a case of, uh, you know, of... I'm sorry, but we've grown apart. And 
that feels weird, but good at the same time, I, I, I think. Um, you might be able to tell I'm having a little bit of trouble sort of processing what this means for me uh, as a player. Where am I going? Something is chasing me. Uh, but it's interesting because it, it really does mean a, a, the closure of a segment of my life. You know, that the World of Warcraft dominated much of what I did for, for a long time. You know, I, I, schedule, I took work schedules that were beneficial to my raid schedule. Uh, it, it was a really big part of, of who I was for, for a long time. And to just kind of see that go away, I almost feel like there should be some kind of ceremony, you know? I almost feel like this is, uh, this is sort of a death that is not fitting of, of what World of Warcraft gave to me. It just sort of folds into obscurity. Uh, and I, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, uh, oh crap, I better keep this guy alive. Hang on, tank. I will heal you. And as I kind of went through the motions thinking about that, I also started thinking about what do I enjoy about MMORPGs? You know, what is it exactly that these games offer to me? And I really sort of came up blank. Uh, I can't put my finger on what it is that I like about these games and why it is that I have played so many of them uh, over the years. And I don't know if that's worrying or not, but it is kind of weird because on my other channel, Big Dave is Cheap, I talk about games and, and I, I do a really good job, or at least I do, I think I do, you know, patting myself on the back here, uh, of quantifying and and verbalizing my, my thoughts on something, you know, putting them into words and, and analyzing a game. What is it that I like about it? And I can't do that with MMOs. And so many of the things that other people would cite that they enjoy, I, I don't care about. Uh, more instant adventures in Silverwood? I think I will. So yeah, it's really weird because if you say, well, what, what do you like? Well, I like the uh, I like the social interaction. Well, I don't care about that. Um, I'm in this group right now because it's automatic. If I could do instant adventures by myself, I would. Uh, I, I enjoy the incidental teaming that happens in Rift, but oh hey, congrats on that level, guy whose name I cannot pronounce. But yeah, but I don't enjoy organized group play. I'm not in a uh, I'm not in a, a, a guild. I don't raid. I don't even really do dungeons. Am I even supposed to be killing this? Okay, yes I am. I don't even really do dungeons that much, uh, which is weird because I do like playing a support role. So it kind of feels a little contradictory there. Like, I'm a guy who plays support, but likes to play solo. That just means that everything I do is harder because I'm doing it alone. Oh man, I just dumped all five of those points into a heal. Eh, well. It's not like this thing poses any real threat. Even even with my level diminished down to 14, I'm still pretty beefy. So, What are we killing? Trinance. Kill Trinance in Trinance Grove. Okay, yeah, that's... I, I'm on it. I'm on top of it right now. So yeah, I don't like really like the social aspect. I don't like the interaction. Uh, you know, questing is not particularly fun. Uh, I guess I like lore. I like the idea of, of lore and, and that I'm playing in a world that exists. Uh, exploration I, I enjoy, but, you know, it's it's not a major thing. Uh, yeah, so it's really, it's really weird, kind of thinking that I just play these games and I devote a lot of time to them, but I couldn't tell you why. If I'm playing a game like FTL, I can tell you the things that I enjoy about FTL. Uh, you know, I enjoy the management aspect of that game. I enjoy the random nature of the game. I enjoy the quest for the next upgrade. You know, these are the things that I enjoy. And some of that stuff, I guess, I enjoy in here. I mean, I don't know. I guess I kind of look at the quest for the next upgrade or the next, you know, soul point as just being something I gotta do. Like, I just gotta grind out the next level. So it's, it's yeah, it's a little bit weird, a little bit puzzling to not really be able to understand what it is that I like about these games, but to still like these games. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I get a lot of productive stuff done at work with my stupid, my stupid extended thought sessions. Uh, but, you know, I just, honestly, I felt bad not putting out a video this week, and I'm not saying this is necessarily quality content, but uh, I really kind of thought that sitting down and putting a video on, actually starting recording, might somehow interact with the universe and cause this cue to pop, but it hasn't worked, so... <laughs> Yeah. 
for those of you out there who are World of Warcraft players, I do genuinely, genuinely hope that you were enjoying Mists of Pandaria. I am looking very much forward to Rift's first expansion in the form of Storm Legion in, uh, what is it, a month and a half or so now. And I hope everybody will stick around. We will try to get Warfronts number 60 out next week if I can. Uh, if you do have any uh, questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Comment section is good for comments. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know, I feel kind of like I should say something more coherent than the babbling that I've done. But then again, this is ramblings, so I think I have done that to a T. Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.